Today and tomorrow, the roles reverse. We're talking about lake effect snow up the North Shore. We do have a winter weather advisory in place until Tuesday at 6 o'clock, thanks to the fact that they're going to see more snow up there than generally most of the Northland across the region. Here's a look at satellite radar right now. Seeing a little bit of light snow falling across the North Shore as well as up towards the Iron Range. Some heavier snow off to our south and, uh, excuse me, off to our south and west down towards the Twin Cities. That'll begin to work its way north here as we head through the rest of the day today. Maybe a little bit of light snow falling just out towards Cloquet as well as down the I-35 south quarter to start off our day here on this Monday morning. You could encounter some slick roads out there as well to start off our day. We'll be made, uh, completely snow-covered roads. This is indicating up portions of Highway 61 towards the North Shore partially covered roads up towards the Iron Range, as well as even along the South Shore, thanks to that lake effect snow that we saw over the course of the weekend. As a matter of fact, some places along the South Shore picked up over a foot of snow throughout the course of this weekend. Here's a live look from Two Harbors right now. You can see the little bit of blacktop, but also a little bit of snow on the roads up that way. Definitely going to want to take it a little bit slower as you're heading out for your morning commute. And a live look from Virginia this morning as well. Seeing a little bit of blacktop, but mainly white snow-covered roads up that way as well. And here's a live look from Duluth. As you can see, nothing on the roads down here. Roads are mainly dry, even as a matter of fact. But up towards the, up on top of the hill, they saw a little bit of lake effect snow through the overnight hours last night. So you could see a little bit of slick roads up on top of the hill for us here in the Twin ports. Right now coming in at 24 degrees at Duluth International, winds out of the south southeast between 5 or 10 miles per hour. That means we are looking at a real field temperature of more like 18 degrees as you're stepping out the door to start off our day. Temperatures across the region starting off the day in the upper teens as well as the lower 20s. 18 Grand Marais, 22 Ashland, 21 Solon Springs, 21 as well in Hibbing, 20 International Falls right now. In the cool spot this morning, well that's Ironwood. They're coming in at 12 degrees above zero, so definitely a chilly start to the day for some. As we head through the rest of the morning hours today, we are talking about snow showers out across much of the region. And winds out of the south and east, that means we're talking about heavier lake effect snow up towards the north shore as well as the Arrowhead region. And that's going to reflect in the snow totals. More on that here in just a moment. As we head through the afternoon as well as the evening hours, I think snow becomes more scattered in nature. Still talking about that heavy snow, though, along the north shore as well as up towards the Arrowhead region. And then as we head through today, tomorrow, snow f f on and off in nature through a good portion of our day here on Tuesday. With the exception, though, of the North Shore, they're still going to see a constant stream of lake effect snow throughout the entirety of the day on Tuesday. And then as we head towards Wednesday, the lake effect snow machine should shut off for the North Shore as well as the Arrowhead region. But still some on and off snow showers throughout the course of our day here on Wednesday. But generally, for the most part, I think they're fairly light in nature and probably should not accumulate to all that much. In terms of snow totals for today, today, most are talking about one to three three inches, but up the North Shore, you could see four to eight, generally from two harbors points north. And then for the Arrowhead region, up towards Grand Marais, they could be talking about the eight, maybe even 12 plus inches of snow up there, thanks, a bit of a, thanks to a little bit of help from Lake Superior. Temperatures today making their way into the upper 20s as well as the lower 30s for Minnesota, as well as down in northwest Wisconsin with those snow showers overhead. And here's how that seven day forecast shapes up. Snow for today as well as tomorrow. Well, maybe a little bit more snow for today on Wednesday here as well, but mainly cloudy skies overhead for Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, take a look at that daytime high of only 19 degrees. Friday night into Saturday, probably going down to 7. Wow. Saturday night into Sunday, going down to 5. That's for us here in the Twin Ports, up towards the Iron Range, as well as the international border, those usual cooler spots. Would not be surprised to see some places go below zero.